Welcome back to Roar the Blueprints. This is video number two in a short five part video series where I introduce you to my Roar Blueprints. It's how I strive to live my best life every day on purpose, in my power and with the courage to speak my truth. Let's quickly recap. So here you can see the complete blueprints. In the first video, we stepped through this blueprint and I shared with you my personal story of how I found my roar. So if you missed the first video, I'd encourage you to, to go back, watch that, and then come back to watch this video. So the four elements are authentic purpose, inner game, outer game, and roar. So in the remaining four videos, we'll step through each of these elements. Today, we are going to start with your authentic purpose. Living your best life starts with clarity on your authentic purpose. It's born out of your unique gifts, experiences, and desires. And we often find our purpose when we're facing life's toughest storms. When I left my job, I was feeling empty, exhausted, and without purpose. But when I thought my life was falling apart, it was actually falling into place. I just had to see it with my inner eyes. I had to find the meaning in my mess and to see how my abuse was in fact a gift. My experience with different forms of abuse throughout my life has taught me that abuse is abuse, full stop. The invisible scars cut deep. And it also taught me that the only way you can win is to forgive, let go, and move on. If we live in the victim's story, the abusers win. So this has ignited a fire inside me to help victims, to give victims a voice, and in particular, to help women thrive in the workplace. This is my purpose. Do you know yours? I'd now like to take a moment to draw your attention to my book, Roar, How to Tame the Bully Inside and Out. Because the chapters in the book map to the Roar Blueprint. So this is where you can find out more about the blueprint. So let me just briefly give you a bit of context. The first three chapters of Roar very much contextualize workplace bullying. So in the first three chapters, based on my experience with workplace bullying, I actually decided that I wanted to shine a spotlight on what I call a silent epidemic in today's workplace. So I write about bullying. I help you spot the signs, spot the bully, and I put it in the context of narcissism. So chapter three is really transitioning into taking action, you know, stepping out of the victim story, as I alluded to earlier, and taking control of your own life and stepping into living your best life. So by the time you get to chapter four, it's all about the raw blueprint. It's all about living your best life. And chapter four is in fact, find your purpose. And I start this chapter with a quote from a friend, Amy Davies. And I just would like to read that to you. Isn't it amazing how the biggest hurdles that leave us feeling so damaged ultimately shape our career and outcome? giving our lives an entire new meaning. This is so true for me. So I want to leave you with just some reflection. In my book, I introduce a model called Your Best Life. 
And the first couple of steps are particularly relevant for today's video. So the first step is on finding your purpose. And really, it's about assessing, holding the mirror up, getting honest about who are you today? Who do you want to become? And why? Really, purpose is all about your why, understanding and finding and igniting your big why. And then the second step is momentum. So this is really about you having the belief in yourself and your ability to make it happen, to make that dream come true. So momentum comes from taking action. One of the biggest lessons that I've learned over the last 12 months has been that clarity on your purpose, clarity on your mission, clarity on your life's meaning and why you are here comes from taking massive, messy, imperfect action. In the next video, we are going to look at the second element of the raw blueprint. Winning your inner game, your beliefs, your thoughts, and your feelings. See you in the next video.